USS Trepang, a Sturgeon-class submarine, was the second vessel of the US Navy named after Trepang, a sea animal known to be tough, long, and with a muscular torso, usually found in the coral reefs. This marine animal is also known as a sea cucumber or marine slug. The Electric Boat Division of the General Dynamics Organization was given the contract of building the Trepang in 1966. The firm laid down the keel in October 1967. The Trepang was launched in September 1969 under Mr. Melvin's sponsorship and later commissioned by Dean Sackett on August 14, 1970. The USS Trepang was another vessel in the US Army, which not a lot of people knew anything about but it would soon be brought into the spotlight. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at the USS Trepang and what it encountered in the Arctic. Why was the USS Trepang in the Arctic? The USS Trepang was in the Arctic because of several reasons, which include Trepang moved to the Arctic in early 1971 for local operations in her home port. The Trepang operated under the polar ice cap to perform some extensive scientific investigations into the composition, geological record and motion of the ice cap. USS Trepang was also in the Arctic to carry out some weapons systems evaluation and acceptance prosecutions and later carried out autonomous operations in the Atlantic Ocean. USS Trepang was placed in the Arctic to conduct several fast attack submarine exercise missions. Another reason was to participate in NATO operations, which became the first involvement of an American submarine to conduct peaceful operations with a submarine from Germany. Other missions and milestones included Trepang was to carry out a weapons operations test on Florida's coast and complete a nuclear technical proficiency inspection before returning to London. The Trepang also participated in some operations with the 6th Fleet when there was tension because of the Yom Kippur War in 1973 in October in the Middle East. This was before going back to London for the regular post-deployment stand-down leave time and upkeep. To participate in the Karabek 17 exercise in the Caribbean, where the vessel was to undertake a variety of exercises that included the inspection of the submarine's technical proficiency. And in March 1975, Trepang was appointed to the submarine squadron. There's no single definitive answer as to why the vessel was in the Arctic at that moment in time, but many of the military missions at the time were kept secret and away from prying eyes. The UFO Sighting of USS Trepang Arctic UFO images from 1971 were released online, which quickly went viral and had UFO enthusiasts amazed. The images released were taken from the USS Trepang SSN-674 submarine, as it made its way between Iceland and Norway, Genmayan Island. Various UFO enthusiasts claim the photographs are the definitive proof of a secret US aircraft test while others online have claimed that the object seen in the photos is an alien craft, looking for places to drill for oil and mine Earth's resources. Alex Mistretta, a paranormal investigator, studied the images when they were first released, after they appeared in the French paranormal magazine Top Secret, according to the Black Vault. Mistretta claims his sources notified him that the pictures had been taken from the US submarine, with the Admiral on board at the time Dean Reynolds. It's unknown how these images managed to end up being published in a French magazine, given that they were taken by the crew on board the submarine and were presumably stored in the US military archives. Official records do seem to reinforce the validity of the claim, but the information is so readily available that many have called the evidence into question and claim it does nothing to certify the validity of the images. An inscription on one of the photos reads, Official photograph, not to be released, CT. Another reads, an authorized disclosure subject, security certificate SSN 674, criminal sanction. Online commenters suggested all the images may be of a single object that has the ability to shapeshift. 
They are an odd selection of pictures that feature types of UFOs that have been regularly spotted by witnesses in all parts of the world, said Nigel Watson, author of the UFO Investigations Manual. Airship or long-shaped crafts have been reported since 1896, when there was a significant increase of phantom airship sightings throughout the USA. Nigel Watson notes how explorer Benjamin Trueblood found this when he began a polar expedition in 1908. The Eskimos he met were eager to talk about sighting an airship. There are numerous theories which suggest UFOs have secret bases in the Arctic. Perhaps this was some secret technology which had been launched from an underground base. There are some wild theories, but some which are also very plausible. Was the USS Trepang using this object as target practice? There isn't enough evidence to be taken from the photographs, which suggests that the UFO pictured was attempting to do so. Some people claim it could have been looking for new places to drill for oil and mine the Earth's resources, while others claim it was an object which was being secretly used by the US Navy as target practice in order to conduct new weapons tests. Whether or not the UFO was blown to pieces by the USS Trepang's deadly weapons systems or whether it was trying to investigate the Arctic alongside the submarine is anyone's guess. The United States military also reported that the object was a weather balloon even though the newspaper's photograph suggested contrary to the report. A very similar situation to the one that the US military found themselves in at Roswell. Weather balloons seem to be an easy way out for the US military when it comes to explaining possible UFO sightings. Some more imaginative reports claim that bodies were recovered from the craft. Latex-skinned victims with aluminium bones fell from the atmosphere and were immediately picked up by the military. The aluminium bones were said to be of alien origin. Those who had witnessed the earlier sightings at Roswell saw the military action as a government cover-up of a secret mission. As for the Air Force, the dummies were a means of experimenting with new ways in which pilots can withstand falls. According to some studies, it is said that 50 years later, after the Roswell occurrence, the military published a report confiding that the wreckage at Roswell was a portion of the Mogul Project, which was a private atomic intelligence undertaking. Likewise, in the Soviet Union, secret military missile tests were often the cause of most of the UFO sightings. In 1948, the UFO sightings went up, which prompted the US Air Force to start investigations on the statements known as Project Signs. During that time, there was the tension of the Cold War. Most researchers who were involved in the Trepang sightings claimed that the unidentified flying object was a sophisticated Soviet airliner. However, some studies say that the sightings might be a craft from another world. Although there is not much evidence of what the UFOs are, most people usually wonder why there are so many sightings near nuclear spots. The Robertson panel came up with some conclusions after a thorough investigation of the UFO sightings. One is that 90% of those sightings can be associated with the meteorological and astronomical occurrences such as iron clouds, meteors, bright planets, stars and auroras. The second abduction was that the sights might be some earthly objects, balloons, searchlights, birds, among others. The report also said that there is no security threat posed by the UFOs. A portion of this report was kept confidential until 1979, and this prolonged privacy duration fueled several suspicions of a government cover-up. Area 51 is also a place where UFO sightings are a common occurrence, and some documents show that this area was home to different Cold War projects. Oxcart was devoted to coming up with a spy airliner that would be undetectable, so that it could be used to retrieve important data while completely invisible to radar. There are probably numerous secret government projects, just as there was back when the USS Trepang was sailing through the Arctic. It's highly likely that the sighting of the USS Trepang submarine was a secret government test. But what are your thoughts on the images? Do you think they are of alien origin? But what do you make of these USS Trepang encounters? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.